Please welcome John Hersham. <laughs> Recently, a co-worker of mine was sharing with me the greatest speech he ever heard. He went to this conference and the speaker started off lots of energy, lots of excitement. And then he started to share a personal story. He started to slow down his speech, talking quieter, until he got to a certain part where his lips started to quiver. And as he shared this personal story, it grew more emotional to the point where a tear started to drop from his eye, down his cheek. What a powerful speech. My friend still remembers it years later. How did this speaker become so powerful? I want to thank you, Rob, Mr. Toastmaster, for allowing me this opportunity. I want to thank each of you for being here today, fellow Toastmasters. And I especially want to thank you, David, for being here, having the courage to come to this meeting today. I believe that a great speaker combines the abilities of skills and genuineness to become a great speaker. Now, I'm sure we've all heard those bad speeches, not here in Nauatuki, of course, <laughs> but in other places and throughout our daily lives. They may sound something a little like this. Buy, buy, buy! You can have it today! It can be yours for one low price! Come today! <laughs> Car salesmen, infomercials, telemarketers, these people repel us. We don't want to be barraged by their language, their tactics to engage us. We have to sift through all of the words in order to understand the true meaning. And sometimes that takes a while to get. That's what my friend experienced. It took a while for him to really connect. In fact, three years after he heard that amazing speech, he found himself at another conference in an audience listening to the same speaker. He was thrilled to get to hear this speaker talk again, until he started to hear some similar words, and then the same story, and actually the same words, word for word, the lip began to tremor on the same time, and then, almost robotically, water started to come out of his eyes. <laughs> How dare he take this great and emotional interaction and personal experience and turn it into this mechanical and robotic process? The difference was it wasn't genuine. <clears throat> and my friend felt that right away. So how do we make it genuine? How do we find this ability to connect with our audience? I love having guests. I love Seeing someone come for the first time, it reminds me of my first time, somewhat the nervousness, maybe even the first speech. And as that person gets up, begins to share in table topics, well sure, the marbles go flying, it begins sounding a little bit like microwave popcorn going off. But they share in such a personal way, just trying to do their best in that moment. And we can connect with that, I connect with that, and I feel their connection. So how do we do this? We need the skills. That's why we're in Toastmasters. We absolutely need to gain those skills. And when we look at people that we enjoy listening to, we recognize that they combine those skills with that genuineness. And those speakers that are able to do that, I can listen to them for hours. What I believe, the skills are like a lens on a microscope. It's the ability to magnify what's in our heart and what's in our mind. And when we use the skills and improve our skills, we simply are increasing the focus to be able to magnify our feelings and our thoughts to better transcend those to our audience. Now what's important as we gain all these skills in Toastmasters is that we don't lose sight of the objective. 
It's not about having vocal variety to the perfect pitch or gesturing in just the right way and standing correctly. It's about making vocal variety that fits our pitch or making gesturing that fits our mannerisms. We need to make it our own abilities. And when we do this, that is transcending the genuineness. I am so grateful for the skills that I've learned in Toastmasters, and I so look forward to gaining more of those skills. I admire the great speakers who combine those two abilities of skills and genuineness to be able to better connect with their audience. <clears throat> and whether we speak in front of a large crowd or one-on-one -on -one with another person, we can give a great speech in that moment even if we don't have all the skills, because when combined with genuineness, we can create an impactful speech.